Austin City Council members had big votes today on homes for people without them. That includes everything from permanent supportive housing to designated temporary campsites. KXAN's Kevin Clark live in our newsroom. And Kevin, you've been following the latest on this. And we highlighted one of those votes earlier this week, a resolution to put temporary campsites on city-owned land. The sites would have security, lighting, restrooms, and storage. Council has not taken a vote. The resolution was pulled for discussion this afternoon and could still be amended. They were in exec executive session just a few minutes ago. And in other votes, council members approved money for integral care and family elder care, care to provide rapid rehousing for people who are homeless. These add dollars to already existing programs. Another contract pays Front Steps, which operates the Arch Shelter downtown, to offer bridge shelter at a roadway inn that the city has been using as protective lodging during the pandemic. A city spokesperson says people currently at that hotel will be moved into other housing or hotels Austin operates as other pro lodges. And all of these contracts are part of the city's HEAL initiative, which would move people from four encampments around the city in to housing quickly. Council also approved more funding for Caritas of Austin. That is, this is unrelated to the HEAL initiative, but Caritas will provide longer term housing to people who are chronically homeless and have severe mental health issues. The initial contract pays Caritas $600,000 through September of 2023. And the city says it's a new contract for an existing pilot program. Back to you. All right, Kevin, thank you. Yesterday, Yesterday, we told you the city was focusing on educating those experiencing homelessness about the camping ban before starting to issue citations to violators. And a past program shows they might not need to give out tickets. In 2019, the Downtown Austin Alliance paid to give overtime to Austin Patrol Downtown. Statistics from that program show between January and April of that year, Officers interacted with more than 8,000 people who were violating the city's camping and sit lie ordinance. In 98% of those interactions, people voluntarily complied with an officer's request to change their behavior. So, no tickets were issued. 